and bees at the family. Words are made of letter people, A, B, C, D, follow me. The letter people, today, meet Ms. O. Excellent, Otto. Lower away and I'll catch it down here. Yeah, elbows up, Miss E. Here she comes. Easy does it, Otto. Easy. I've got it. No, 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 not there. How many times do I have to tell you the clue boxes? I mean, the flower trellises go over there. Yeah, we know, Miss O, but Otto and I thought they'd look better here. You do it the way I want you to do it. You should know I'm obstinate, stubborn, that I do just what I want to do. If I weren't obstinate, I wouldn't have my sound, Miss E. My sound is the same sound that starts obstinate. Just listen. Ah, oh, ah, oh, obstinate. Ah, oh, hey, what is that horrible noise? Is somebody down there with you, Miss E? It's me, you oversized oddity. Miss O, get back to work. I have an opera to put on. Speaking of your opera, who's about playing the part of an omelet? It's just a fancy way of cooking an egg. Say, why don't you do an opera about an elephant? Then I could use my sound, the same sound that starts exercise. Hear it? Elephant? Exercise? How about it, Miss O? No, that won't do it all. Why? Because I want to do it my way, and I'm using only those things that start with my sound. Omelet starts with the same sound that starts obstinate. Listen. Omelet, obstinate. Omelet, obstinate. No, I'm afraid. Elephant won't do. It's my opera, Miss... Miss I. What happened to Miss E? She oscillated out because you were being so obstinate. The reason I'm here, Miss O, is I'd like to insist on a change in your opera. Oh, no, 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 no. No changes. But it would be so much better if I could play the part of an Indian. Indian starts with my sound. The same sound that starts itchy itch. Listen, Indian, itchy itch. No, I'm afraid not, Miss I. You're going to play the part of the olive, a delicious green olive. Olive, you know, starts with the same sound that starts obstinate. Do you hear it, Miss I? Olive, obstinate. Olive, obstinate. As I was telling Miss E, my opera only uses things that start with my sound. Do you understand, Miss A? Oh, dear, this is most confusing. Oh, Miss O, thanks for giving me the opportunity to be in your opera. What part am I going to play? Oh, my dear, you have the most original part in the opera. You get to play the part in which the ostrich cooks her olive omelette. The pot? I don't want to play a pot. Why can't I play the part of something that starts with my sound? Like apple. Apple starts with the same sound that starts at you. Apple, at you. I'm not going to play the pot. Besides, you don't cook an omelet in a pot, you cook it in a pan. It's my opera, and if I want to use a pot, I'll use a pot. And since I want to use a pot, I'm going to use a pot. Oh, she's so obstinate. Why can't I play the part of the ostrich? Oh, out of the question. I'm playing the ostrich. It's the starring role, and it is my opera. I don't see why it has to be an ostrich anyway. It's really quite simple, Miss A. Ostrich starts with the same sound that starts obstinate. Don't you hear it? Ostrich, obstinate. Ostrich, obstinate. A most delightful sound. Now, why don't you join the other letter people and get into costume? I've never seen anyone as obstinate as Miss O. How can anybody play a pot? Now, I think we're just about ready. Oh, dear. Otto. Otto, must you make so much noise? What are you doing up there? Uh, making O's. I have one, but I don't think I made the other one big enough, so. Let me be the judge of that. Just bring down the letters, Otto. Yes, that's the letter O, a capital O. It makes the same sound that starts obstinate. Okay, Otto, lower the other one. Uh, I told you, Ms. O, I don't think it's big enough. Ah, here it is anyway. Oh, it's obvious, Otto, you've made a lowercase O. It makes the same sound that starts obstinate. You mean to tell me that both of those are O's and they both make the same sound? Of that I'm sure, Otto. Your observation is correct. Both capital O and lowercase O make the same sound that starts... Obstinate! <laughs> Just like you, Emma Zoe. Just like me, Otto. 
I hit it, Oscar! I miss, oh, I'm obstinate. people land where our performance is about to begin. Tonight we present the world premiere of Mesu's obstinate opera, the ostrich's olive omelette. In just a moment, the curtains will rise on act one, but first, these sounds. Ah, eh, e. Ah, ah, eh, e. Ah. to Philharmonic Hall. The orchestra has finished tuning up and the conductor, Oscar Obligato, is calling for quiet. The curtain is rising on act one of Miss O's obstinate opera. It's springtime in Little People Land. The flowers are blooming, the birds are singing, and lovely little butterflies are flitting about. <coughs> I said, lovely little butterflies are flitting about. Go on, Mr. B. That's your cue. But I feel so blasted silly dressed like this. Mr. B, get all that stage. Oh, she's so obstinate. I'm a butterfly, a butterfly, a beautiful springtime butterfly. Miss O, I feel like a boob in this getup. What an ox. Mr. F, get on that stage before Mr. B ruins my opera. I'm Farley the farmer, fiddling around, fiddling around, and oh! I'm Olivia the ostrich, about to cook an olive omelette. That is fine and fancy, but where is the olive? The olive, the obstinate olive, here is my olive. I said, here is my olive. I'll take my ass to the itsy witsy ice cream club over this any day. Quiet. Now I need an egg. An egg to make my omelette. Oh, little egg, come out, come out. I wanted to play an egg, Miss O, but I'm not coming out dressed like this. Little egg, you better do as I say. I can't see a thing under here. Now you have an egg and an olive. But you need something to cook your omelette in. And the letter people are going to tell you what that is. 
There's Mr. T in the ending clue box. And there's Mr. P in the starting clue box. Now we need just one more. Who will that be? A letter girl. How about Ms. O? Yes, Ms. O, come out and... Wait a minute. You're Ms. O. How are you going to play the ostrich and be in the catching clue box at the same time? Oh, dear, I hadn't thought of that. Well, well, here's an idea. Why don't I play the ostrich while you're in the clue box? Don't be silly. Your sound is the same sound that starts funny feet. I'm the only one who can play the ostrich because ostrich starts with my sound. Obstinate! Let's see now. How can I work this out? I've got it. Here, Mr. F, take my feathers. You play the ostrich while I get in the clue box. But that's just what I said. Go on, Mr. F. Don't be obnoxious. We're ready. Oh, she's so obstinate. Mr. P, in the starting clue box, makes the same sound that starts pointy patches. Ms. O, in the catching clue box, makes the same sound that starts obstinate. Mr. T, in the ending clue box, makes the same sound that starts tall teeth. So what do I need? I, I mean, what do you need? I mean, what? Oh, I don't know what I mean. Oh, I mean the ostrich needs a pot to cook the omelet in. A pot. And now we'll prove it. Pot. Again. Pot. A pot, a pot. I'm right. You mean I'm right. I'm playing the ostrich. Bring out the pot. I don't like being a pot, Miss O. Stop objecting so much. Now I'm going to cook my olive omelette. In goes the egg and the olive. Eat and stir and... Oh, it's too... too... Oh, dear, I can't think of the right word. Here, Mr. F, take my feathers. It's sound catch time again. Now we're going to find out why we can't eat the omelet yet. Ms. O, in the catching clue box, makes the same sound that starts obstinate. Mr. T, in the ending clue box, makes the same sound that starts tall T. Mr. H, in the starting clue box, makes the same sound that starts horrible hair. If I'm right, the letter people will tell me that the omelet is too hot to eat. Am I right? Is it too hot? Hot. Again, again. Hot. Yes, it's too hot. I'll have to wait until it cools. And that is the end of my opera. Wait a minute. How can this be the end of your opera? It's a funny ending. Don't tell me how to end my opera, Mr. F. If I say this is the end, then this is the end because I say this is the end. But fortunately for you, I say this is not the end. But just a minute ago, you said it was the end. Must you always be so rude? Yeah, but I... Now here's the end of our show, the story of Aki the Octopus. Listen for the same sound that starts obstinate. <laughs> Way down deep and out of sight in a sea of greenish light lived an octopus named Aki. Oddly olive and awfully cocky. He'd twist and he'd whirl and spin like a top, unwind like a spring, uh, then come to a stop. Now he should have been happy in his home, warm and cozy, but Aki the oddball was obviously nosy. So late one day, deep in October, when skies were crisp, gold and sober, he swam to the top and looked around. Blinked his eyes and hopped on the ground, danced a jig on the soft orange clay, giggled and said, Here's where I'll stay. I'll play and I'll play and I'll play still some more. You'll never get me off this soft orangey shore. The months rolled by and the skies of gold turned dark and gray and very cold. It started to snow. The ice was a quiver. The poor little Lockie, he started to shiver. I want my home so warm and so nice. I think I'll swim back under the ice. And that's what he did, and vowed never to roam, because Aki found out there's no place like home. Come and meet the letter people, come and visit the family. Words are made of letter people, A, B, C, D, follow me.